huge 12 months for City Kickboxing and Eugene Behrman. Of course, oh, big knockdown for Dan Hooker. Big tap. That's it. The hangman back in a massive way tonight. Wow. Vic goes out to parry the hands. He's going to reach here. See him reaching for the hands and throwing a punch at the same time. He just gets caught in the mix. You got to keep your hands glued to your chin or move your head a lot. Here we see again. He's looking for a counter hook. Gets caught with his own hook by Hooker. Follows it up, gets the finish. Yeah, looking for the flurry to finish. Strikes now has been overtaken by Jimmy Crew. 60 to Jimmy Crew. He's trying to rip that arm around Paul Craig's back. He's got to get out of that half guard position, really. Oh, he got a two tap. Wow. Well done, Jimmy Crute in his debut with a submission and finish. So lots of back and forth, lots of reverse, reversals of position, but ultimately Jimmy Crute was able to work his way to the top position more times than not, was able to lock in this Kimura grip, and even from half guard look, he was able to elevate uh, Paul Craig, lift him up and get enough torque onto that shoulder to get the tap from Paul Craig. I think there was some fatigue involved there as well for Paul Craig. The great work by Jimmy Crute. He needs to keep space here. Nancy Golov still rushes the ball. Uppercut. Good angles being cut there by Oleg Shacha. Oh. coming in. That'll do it. It is wow. done. Oleg Shacha with the knockout again. What counter punch from Alex Shajuk three times in a row? Look at this, he's running forward, right hook, bang, oh. right on the chin. And then as soon as he's back to his feet, he's chasing. Here's the uppercut, nice again, right on the chin. Beautiful work, but still Antigolov scrambling for the takedown, still trying to push forward. And then we see Alex Shajuk, he runs away, backs up, and then one more clean uppercut. He knew oh, exactly that... where Antigolov was going to be. Oh, those ones at the end, and they put him out cold. Wow. He's still down. Oh! oh! Back yes, he's out. Just like wow. that! Paul Felder, how impressive is this cat tonight? And one of the reasons why this works so well, Mike, is he hadn't attempted it before. I mean, he knew when was the time, based on his positioning, based on where he was at. I mean, that was the perfect time to land that shot. And he turned the lights out on Danny Castillo. I mean, he landed a shot afterwards, but it was really unnecessary because the fight was over right there. I mean, Danny was stiff. Wow, Paul Felder, what a statement he made here tonight. We wondered if DeLima would kick early. He answered that question, started the fight off with a head kick. Oh! Morena trying to recover, but that'll do it. Marcos Rosario DeLima! They broke the clinch and got into a firefight here. And look at that straight right as they broke the clinch. Flush to the jawline, right on the button. So important as you break the clinch to get your guard back up, and you see DeLima really took advantage of that opportunity and caught Moreno with his left hand low since he had an underhook there. Somebody that's unorthodox, they hit you with that. Oh, oh, that's a spinning back kick from Mr. Fire. Fire. Oh, that's it. Wow. Mr. Fire is what back. Finish. Here, let's take a look at it. Boom, oh, right wow, square the on the face through his guard. Wow. And watch this, bang, straight through the guard. That's an impact right there. And then he follows up, he lands a few shots, but then steps away. He knows his opponent's yes. done here. Wow, very, very impressive.